Hello and welcome to Basel. My name is James Stacy, and we're here kicking up the vlog for Basel World 2017, the biggest watch fair in the world. It's always a really exciting time to be a watch nerd, especially for those of you who uh, want to see the coverage from the non Richemont brands that we saw at SIHH. We did a vlog for SIHH and I can't thank you all enough for all the love and the support and the comments and everything. It was a fantastic experience. We had a lot of fun doing it and I'm really excited to bring it back for Basel World. So I left Vancouver like, I don't know, maybe 24 hours ago, something like that, and a couple of planes, a train, a tram, a van, a short nap, and now this, and uh, I'm going to be leaving for a tutor dinner shortly. The show doesn't really kick off until tomorrow, but tonight there is this tutor dinner, and on the off chance that they decide to show us a new watch and let me film slash photograph it, I figured it makes sense to kick off the vlog now as, uh, why not? Right, so uh, thanks a lot for watching, and we're gonna dig into the show as soon as possible tomorrow. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to be able to show you kind of the widespread of of what everything looks like at Basel, because uh, it's always always a, a real contrast to what we see at SIHH. So uh, buckle up. I hope you like watches, and we're gonna try and do one each and every day. So I'll see you uh, in the next clip. And good evening from Basel. So I'm walking my way over to the Three Kings, which is like a bar hotel on the water in Basel where Tudor does the meetup for their uh, kind of annual pre-Basel kickoff dinner. And the dinner's really fun because, you know, once everybody kind of gets to the bar, then they put you on a, uh, on a boat or sometimes a car and they drive you somewhere because the event's usually in kind of a secretive location. So it should be really cool. I got a little bit of a walk to do over the bridge here and then we'll be there. So the lighting's not great and it's still pretty noisy in here, but Tudor just announced their new Black Bay Chrono, which we have here on the steel bracelet. So it's basically a Black Bay with a two register chronograph. The movement, uh, we don't have all the details on yet, but it's a silicon balance spring and a column wheel chronograph, two register, date at six. Basically a Back Bay dial with two registers and a, you know, a different date placement, 41 millimeter steel case. It's an interesting mix of sort of a race chronograph with a dive watch and yeah Basel starting off strong way to go uh, tutor with uh, yet another iteration of the Black Bay very cool Okay, and that's the end of day one at Basel World. The show hasn't even started yet, and we already had a fun event with Tudor, getting a chance to see the BB Chrono, uh, you know, a brand new model from them, and kind of a, a crisscross between two different aesthetics from within the brand. Pretty fun to see that in person, and a really nice kind of way to kick off the week in town here. So, so much more coming up tomorrow, and for quite a few days after that, so just uh, hang on and keep watching, and thanks very much for your time, and we'll have more for you tomorrow.